before I move into anything else, since I've spoken about the base of this industry, I want to give you a perspective of why and if you look at this industry, since you're studying technology law, it will have quite a few uh, different uh, areas to look into it. And one is gaming. What all can you learn and what all can you contribute is, please note that you will be doing n number of contracts. I have done a, from an MOU to a letter to a complaint and FIR to a merger and acquisition, everything in the gaming industry. From an, uh, a daily service level agreement to an NDA, to an employer contract. So, of course, it will have all those contacts, internal and external. IPR, you will heavily deal with IPR because since, again, it's all, it is digital, it's governed by the digital laws, the, all the technology laws. The base, again, the, it's a website, which is the representation of such companies. So, all its property is by way of intellectual property. Yeah, so you will be somebody as a lawyer who will have to know intellectual property, property right and maintain a strong portfolio for the company. You will be advising the company of what needs to be done in terms of IPR. And a lot of trademarks and copyrights is certainly happening. Then technology laws, I already spoke about it. Not only that you will deal with the Public Gambling Act, Public Gambling Act may be a side act, but you will have to deal with data data protection, you will have to deal with the IT laws, you deal with uh, litigations, which can be from a PIL to something only under the Public Gambling or maybe under the provisions of, you know, IT rules, anything can happen. Taxation is very concerning from a GST to the TDS to the, uh, you know, the rate of uh, taxation to be applied on this industry is something the most hot topic right now so if you you somebody who's um, uh, you know uh, working as an expertise or looking for an expertise in taxation i would definitely suggest put your feet into gambling also because this industry is looking for taxation lawyers there's a need for it and um, if you have it you will have a lot of business from there media laws oh i was so surprised when i got into it and I very happily loved dealing with media laws because you will deal with OTTs, you will deal with uh, media buy-in and you will deal with brand agencies, you will deal with uh, uh, celebrities, you will deal with uh, influencers. So automatically you will be dealing with media laws. Legal opinions are the base of this industry until and unless you have uh, proper law which speaks very clearly of uh, about gaming laws yeah and more so in the cyberspace you will be consulting startups licensing this case this industry is running on a lot of licenses which people are not aware of i deal with uh ad hoc clients who are starting their startups in the first question i get is a uh, ma'am can you please guide me about what kind of licenses and certifications that i look for whether it's fantasy whether it's somebody who wants to get on a twitch and run their esport channel or whether it's a you know a real money gaming from opening to poker rummy and fantasy together so there are quite a few licenses website policy is the bread and butter of this industry without which again it's very difficult because their representation is all through the TNCs, the privacy, the responsible gaming, yeah, legality, integrity, whatever you know, know it. There are some at least five to seven policies which are highlighted on the website and they are very important because uh, I can say that now I have a separate team which uh, deals into only website day and night because this industry is going through a lot of changes at the moment. Uh, the game game structures are changing, the revenue structures are changing, taxation structures are changing and you have to immediately update your website and not only update, you have to equally inform your players, you have to inform your team members, you have to inform the entire organization, if required you might have to inform your vendors also, yeah, so the website policies are very important. Cyber crimes, again, I feel very fortunate to be a part of this industry that I got so much of exposure. I have been to Bangalore, I've been to uh, Gujarat, I've been to uh, Delhi only to deal with the cyber crimes. Yeah, they have been hacking on our systems, there have been um, money that have been stolen out from uh, the player's account. Yeah, So 
quite a few things and then you get an exposure and you learn of how cyber crime is being dealt in india and how as a gaming lawyer you can represent cyber lawyers yeah litigations i already spoken about it data privacy again no escape you have to start showing the direction to your company of what data needs to be segregated how it needs to be segregated where the server needs to be who should be the authority what kind of compliance officers need to be a lot of internal and external processes have to be set up so when you are working as a gaming lawyer trust me you will be dealing with almost everything that i've spoken of and then the most interesting part which recently i've dealt with is metaverse blockchain and nfts so the entire gaming industry is getting into it in the west it has almost you know been there for some time but india is just coming up to it and you know using nfts as gift using the metaverse platform to host the award functions and you know doing it all on blockchain so you there's no angle i think is left which is uh covering any technology law or the tmt area which you will not deal as a gaming lawyer so i think there is a lot of scope and uh, every person should definitely learn about this area if you know about this area i'll tell you you will be learning about many other areas of the technology law be it fintech be it pharma tech be it edtech yeah it will be not difficult for you to trans you know make a shift if you work from gaming and then you want to move in any other part of technology side because you will be somehow dealing with all the base laws uh which are required as a technology lawyer yeah let's move ahead mm-hmm.